The term overpopulation is extensively overused, and numerous studies have been telling the details of how the world will be populated in the coming decades. Join us as we explore the world population by 2050, from what overpopulation means to how it'll influence our planet and what it'll look like in 30 years. Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Before we get into the specifics, we'd like to include a disclaimer that these predictions have been drawn out based on some heavily calculated and well-researched statistics by experts which may vary from what will actually happen a few decades ahead. Asia Asia's population is expected to reach 5.29 billion people in 2050, up 13.5% from 2021. While Asia will contribute 54.5% of the world's population, this is a 5% decrease from now. By 2050, Asia's young population will be much older, with age demographics similar to those found in Europe now, and 66% of Asia's population will live in cities up from 51% today. In reality, Mumbai will overtake Delhi and Dhaka as the world's most populous metropolises in 2050. India will have increased 18% to 1.64 billion people by 2050, making it the world's most populous country. Europe Europe's population is expected to be 710 million in 2050, down 4.2% from the present. The population of Europe is rapidly dwindling. It's expected to reach a high of 748 million people in 2021 before gradually declining. Lower fertility rates as a result of a variety of variables, including shifting gender roles and a decrease in the desired number of children, will be the primary cause of this fall. As a result, by 2050, Europe will only account for 7.5% of the world's population, down from 101% today and with fewer children. In addition, the population will be older than it is now. Africa Africa's population is expected to reach 2.49 billion in 2050 an increase of 86% for 2021. Africa will be the driving force behind global population increase, accounting for 59% of all expansion. By 2050, Africa will account for 26.3% of the world's population, up from 18.2% now. This increase will be fueled by a variety of causes, including the region's high fertility and low mortality rates. As a result of these causes, Africa's already extremely young population will get slightly older but still very young. Cities will house 59.8% of Africa's population in 2050, compared to 43.8% today. Kinshasa, Lagos, Khartoum, Dar es Salaam, and Luanda will absorb a large portion of this expansion. Northern America Northern America, or simply the United States and Canada, is expected to have a population of 425 million people in 2050, up 15.3% from 2021. The population of the United States and Canada, like that of North and Western Europe, would rise mostly through immigration, primarily from Asia and Latin America. Without immigration, the populations of the United States and Canada are expected to decline. By 2050, a record 18% of the U.S. population, where 72 million individuals is expected to be foreign-born, up from 48 million now. The racial and ethnic makeup of the United States will be substantially altered as a result of these immigrants and their progeny. Latin America In the year 2050, Latin America and the Caribbean's population is expected to reach 762 million by 2021, up 16.5% from 2021. Latin America's population will expand at a rate close to that of Asia. Its age demographics will be extremely similar to those of Asia, with a population that is older than it is now. Cities will house 89.9% of Latin America's population in 2050, compared to 82.5% currently. Much of this expansion will be absorbed by Mexico City, Lima, Santa Cruz de la Sierra, and Bogota. The demographic changes in Latin America will vary slightly across the continent. Oceania Oceania's population is expected to reach 57.4 million people in 2050, up 34.4% from 2021. Oceania will account for 0.6% of the world's population, slightly more than it does now. 71.7% .7 of Oceania's population will reside in cities by 2050, up from 67.8% presently. The populations of Australia and New Zealand will rise somewhat as a result of Asian immigration and their populations will age. Melanesia, on the other hand, will see a huge increase in population. Its existing population of super young people will age slightly but will still be exceedingly youthful. Population fluctuation The world's population will be drastically changed by 2050. Populations will have dropped in East Asia and South and East Europe. In Africa, on the other hand, the population will have exploded. Finally, we have fewer people creating and consuming commodities 
Economic growth in Europe and East Asia will be slow or negative. On the plus side, young people will have more career prospects and the environmental impact will be reduced. Ending with that, what do you think about these theories? Is this how planet Earth will look by the year 2050? Bless the section below with your thoughts. Hope you enjoyed today's video and we can't wait to have your back. Do drop this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and push the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our channel. See you soon!